Dr. Harsh. I'm uh, Rupika and uh, I welcome you to Know Your Calling. Thank you for uh, uh, giving us your time and uh, being available for us. Okay, and uh, I would like to, uh, you to give a brief introduction about yourself before we start. Uh, before we start, thank you Know Your Calling team for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I am Dr. Harsh Patel uh, from Gujarat. I have done my uh, undergraduation GMC Bhavnagar and currently I am doing DNB Orthopedics in third year uh, Dr. B.L. Kapoor Memorial Hospital, New Delhi. Uh, like to ask, uh, can you give a brief introduction about your branch about orthopedics as a post-graduation branch? Orthopedics is a, basically a surgical branch. So, this is going to be a hectic branch, as everyone know. But orthopedics is a wonderful branch. Uh, it's a very rewarding branch and has a multiple subspeciality. So, it's going to be an interesting branch because every fracture is a unique fracture. So, you have to use your technicality. Like, uh, and so that's why it's a good branch to deal with. Uh, what what is the scope of orthopedics if uh, one has to take it up in the future Evergreen branch so there is no saturation people are saying saturation is there is there but there is not such a type of thing because a fracture is gonna happen road traffic accident is increasing day by day yeah. so no problem there is a saturation in tier one and tier two city but Tier 3 CT, there is no saturation, none of orthopedation is there. So basically. how is the life as a resident there? Very hectic branch. Um, the morning start with the morning round. We have to take all the patients morning round vitals and there is basic blood investigation. We have to done x-ray before the round. So we have to give uh, and after 8 or 9, the round will happen, a uh, major round with everyone, consultant and junior consultant there. So we have to prepare patient for before the round. So in round, they are asking about questions and everything. Then have, we have to do dressing and all. With this, we have to manage the emergency as well. Uh, and there is a specific OT days. So basically, we have to do all the part. We have to give in touch with radiologist. We have to touch with pathologist and microbiologist. We have to touch with emergency people also. So it's a very... Do you get time for yourself? It's like you have to get a little out of time. Because in orthopedics, there is no need for three or four things. Emergency नहीं होती है तो mostly अगर आपको कुछ काम है कुछ अगर किसी से बात करनी है घर पे तो you can always manage but senior senior होने चाहिए थोड़े helpful in every branch you need to have them okay so what yeah. are, what are the things that you love the most uh, about orthopedics uh, was it a dream branch or something like that not dream branch but as I am going ahead in with this branch, I am loving it. Uh, basically, we have to use our brain. So, example, there is a fracture. So, we have to unite this. We have to reduce this fracture. Whether by plate, whether by nail, whether by key wire, everything. We have to use our brain. Because we have to just re reduce the fracture. Nature will be healing it. So that's the wonderful mind. And with the advancement of arthroscopy, uh, then there is a spine and knee replacement. So if you are interested, you can switch that also. Okay. Okay. So what are the cons of being in a specialty? Like, uh, like is not good in this specialty? Ke mein, ki, ki log uh, hierarchy. Because, okay. yeah, because people are 
जो बहुत प्रैक्टिस करते हैं सेचुरेशन है आपको एक ही बिल्डिंग में तीन चार ऑर्थोपेडिशियन मिल जाएंगे एंड देर इज अज कॉम्पिटिशन बिकॉज एट द टाइम यू आर डूइंग द सर्जरी और ट्रीटिंग द पेशेंट यू नो द कंडीशन ऑफ स्किन सॉफ्ट टिश्यू एवरी एवरीथिंग एंड आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ और वन ईयर अनदर डॉक्टर इज सी द एक्सरे He is like it is not done. It is not the screw is loose, or yeah, that's why this problem comes. So it's a basically a situation that we have competition. A lot. People are commenting very easily by looking X-ray, but they yeah. don't know condition that time. Exactly. We are dealing with open fracture. we are dealing with compartment syndrome neurovascular injury so we cannot tell and patient is always going to not having that knowledge of these conditions do you think ki a uh, concept act ki personality orthopedics as a branch ko choose karna chahiye like people who have lot of patience or you know who are very precise or accurate sort of orthopedician doesn't have patient this is my information because no one from my hospital has a patient not a small little patient out there so mm-hmm. if you have patients don't take orthopedy uh, and and ye jo baat hai ki hame chahiye kaun si personality एग्रेशन होना चाहिए या फिर किसी के पास एकदम जो स्किल्ड पर्सन है या उनका हाथ शेक नहीं होना चाहिए या फिर स्ट्रेंथ होनी चाहिए नहीं 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 पहले ऐसा बोला जाता था कि स्ट्रेंथ पीपल हेल्दी पीपल हैवीली बिल्ड पीपल शुड टेक ऑर्थोपेडिक्स बट नाउ एडेज गर्ल्स आल्सो टेकिंग ऑर्थोपेडिक्स तो इट्स नॉट प्रॉब्लम बिफोर देर इज है मैन्युअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स मैन्युअल रीमर मैन्युअल ड्रिल ऑल्सो बट नाउ there is a power instrument power drill power reamer hmm. okay uh, and it is a branch so it doesn't have you doesn't have to aapko hai na koi aise precise movement ya precision hand shaking wo to dheere dheere aa jata hai orthopedics aise branch hai jisme ye sab nahi chahiye there is called branch arthroscopy sub branch उसमें आपको थोड़ा हैंड प्रिसीजन वगैरह चाहिए होगा uh, आपकी बात से आई वांटेड टू नो अर्लियर डेज यू नो इवन लाइक गर्ल्स इफ समवन वांटेड टू टेक ऑर्थोपेडिक्स लाइक पीपल वुड यूजुअली डिस्करेज देम कि यार ये तो लड़कों वाला ब्रांच है ये तो मर्दों वाला ब्रांच है व्हाट डू यू हैव अ से ऑन दिस थिंग आई हैव मेट टू और थ्री गर्ल्स हु हैज टेकन ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी सो इट्स परफेक्टली ओके Uh, now is technology with advanced technology we don't have to traction and uh, use your muscle power there is instrument is always instrument that so girls can also do. rather than i am encouraging girls to join the orthopedics it's a wonderful That's branch yes, okay uh, so uh, what type of personality you think should reject orthopedics or should not take orthopedics huh. if if you doesn't have any uh, like 5 to 10% interest in surgery so you don't take orthopedics or you don't want to do this stuff so don't take orthopedics like we have heavy night duties heavy ot days so if you are not cope up with that you are socializing more socializing person you want your inner peace your 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 time so just don't take okay sir because uh, many talk. people hmm. because many people i have seen who have taken orthopedic and they are doing just fine not i am not telling the they are not coping with it they are doing just fine but they don't have time for uh, their extracurricular activity yeah. so they left the branch they were 
Perfectly okay. I am not telling uh, it's not okay. It's perfectly okay. If you don't have your time, then just leave the bar. Coming to the burning uh, topic, which uh, higher like everyone wants to know, see, what is uh, like the settlement in orthopedics? Yes, five five years you are going to be settled. Uh, initially, you have struggled to settle in tier one and tier two city, but you are settled. You can settle every time in tier three city. Uh, from near like uh, 100 kilometers from Ahmedabad or 100 kilometers from Delhi, you can settle any time. And there is a plenty of patients and plenty of opportunities also there. Uh, you have already mentioned big was a small city versus town. The the saturation is tied one and tied two. Uh, what are the government versus corporate aspects versus personal practice? Uh, uh, private practice is a very good. Because they have the latest instruments uh, like CM machine, uh, we have to take shoot in X-ray uh, uh, intraoperatively. So they have CM machines. They have CT scan also. Uh, government, there is a less chances we are getting CT patients. It slides down. Some fracture or some injury are there. We have to evaluate. X-ray cannot give us a perfectly picture. So we have to evaluate by CT scan. so government doesn't have this type of facility and uh, be, with the private practice there are there are multi speciality hospital A- and mostly fracture are occurring in elderly people they have multiple comorbidities they have high blood pressure high thyroid function uh, liver failure kidney failure so basically multi speciality can help you to manage everything they have nice icu going so it soothes the recovery of the patient they have physiotherapy skilled physiotherapist uh, in uh, in government there is less instrument less advancement in instrument uh, we have implants like nail and plate so it's a basically a basically the price is it's high if you are going to purchase it price is going to high it is not affordable general people low ka low social economic status people so government there is no funding there for this type of in, implants so we have to burden um, sometimes it happens ki patient is not going to pay for the implant so uh, condition is poor uh, actual timing of the surgery no that so it's a city and in private practice uh, you need a small setup small operation theater and you can good to go you need a cm machine yeah few requirement with general with general surgery have some friends who has a some minor operation theater basically you are good to with go yeah oh. Sir, what about पैसा? पैसा कितना मिलता है? बहुत मिलता है. Uh, you you are having a cut from the implants you are using. You are having cuts with the surgeon fees also. Okay. You tied up with the physiotherapist, radiologist, and it's a rewarding branch because. With ten year of experience, you can earn five, seven, eight lakhs at least per per month or per annum. Per month, oh, not annum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 overtaken by any other specialty or by artificial intelligence since a lot of machinery has been come up so do you think that the demand might be uh, reduced a bit so uh, we were talking about uh, the future of growth in uh, orthopedics and you know the threat to it in case artificial intelligence uh, revolutionizes the branch uh, what's your take on this uh, orthopedics is a evolving branch it is evolving now Uh, till now there is no such sub specialty is there but now there is a arthroscopy 
there is arthroplasty joint replacement uh, there is spine uh, there is plastic uh, orthopedic plastic uh, there is a pediatric orthopedician and there is their hand and foot surgeon there is also one more step ahead uh, is present in western branch like uh, shoulder surgeon like hip surgeon so specific uh, surgeon is there in western countries so it is evolving uh, evolving branch in still in india uh, we have robotic assisted uh, knee replacement done in our hospital but it's assisted not done by fully there is a uh, every joint is different they are saying so it's always going to assist because every patient is different every patient's anatomy is different so the clinical decision should have take by manually and experienced surgeon so it is help in investigation better precision but not taking over the branch recent near future scope of hands on as a resident been hands on uh, enough uh, like uh, in our colleague uh, with general surgery and all other surgical branch we are getting good amount of hands on because there is always there is a emergency fracture is there so we are getting emergency fracture emergency ot under supervision by sr okay. so if you are good in term with so you can good to go and generally they are giving us uh, so what about the super specialization courses and uh, fellowships uh, available for orthopedics many fellowship uh, available in india and in uh, 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 abroad also but uh, there is a you have to stay in a queue okay there is waiting list is there because everyone doing nowadays fellowship Yeah. So you are getting if you are lucky enough, but you have passionate about you have done your research you have done your uh, your you have, done, you have skills you have determination so you can find any scholar fellowship and super specialization is start uh, in AIMS I think so uh, in spine and in pediatric orthopedic surgery uh, we can enroll with hand and hand surgeon also with plastic surgeon oh so it's a three courses available till india for super specialization hand hand surgeon uh, pediatric orthopedician and spine orthopedics uh, what uh, i wanted to know what are the things that have to be considered before choosing a college for this branch so it's a, a must have a trauma center oh okay and there is a enough amount of case load is there because many hospital is there so it's nearby nearby there is no hospital so all the trauma all the accident happen that patient come to the hospital okay or many hospital is that five six hospital is there so no patient will came to emergency so mm. it's a, not good uh, otherwise you are getting in a patient orthopedics anywhere uh, and about the operation theater you have modern instrument you must have modern instrument so you have to practice in mostly practice in private hospital we are going to mostly practice in private hospital so we have we have to knowledge with advanced technology mm -hmm. otherwise uh, you are getting enough exposure in private hospital also because they have good amount of case load and people are preferring to do uh, operations in the private because government they are treating there is no implants as i said they, so they are they are applying plaster cast and they send the patient to the home so eventually all the patient come to the private hospital for operation uh, uh, what do you think are the pros and cons of uh, dnb specialty in this branch okay uh, cons is you don't have, you don't get enough hands on you don't get enough decision making authority in some institute also 
ओके एंड एंड एग्जाम इज वेरी टफ लास्ट ईयर देर इज थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट पासिंग रेट इन ऑर्थोपेडिक्स वेर एज इन अदर स्पेशलिटी अराउंड फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंटेज सो मोर अमाउंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट आर फेलिंग इन ऑर्थोपेडिक्स डी एन बी सो मेन कंसिडर इज द एग्जाम ऑल्सो टफनेस ऑफ एग्जाम एंड प्रोज इज यू हैव लिमिटेड वर्क अवर यू हैव योर सोशल लाइफ ऑल्सो यू हैव लेटेस्ट यू हैव यू हैव लेटेस्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन योर हॉस्पिटल मोस्टली प्राइवेट प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल इज रनिंग डी एन बी सो यू आर फेमिलियर विद इंस्ट्रूमेंट यू आर फेमिलियराइजिंग विद टेक्निक ऑल्सो लेटेस्ट टेक्निक सो Okay. Uh, I would like to sum up this interview here. Uh, what is one special message that uh, you would like to give our future budding orthopedicians out there? Ah, uh, bus diraj rakho. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, you will learn everything. Just take time. If your colleague is doing this surgery, you doing this surgery. It's none of the matter. matter is you have determination and consistency just small step at the time one topic at the time you are reading at the end of 3 year you are master so take a small baby step just try to learn something in the day and good to go uh, and try to build your hobby give some extra give time for extra curricular activity socialize with uh, talk with your parents uh, minimum two days uh, once in a two days or every day try to do every day but if you are not getting time once in a day uh, talk with your friends and apne colleague se acche bana ke rakho radiology people emergency people they will help you a lot yeah and That's if you want to do orthopedic surgery just take it blindly uh, you will in, you will develop interest future none other less so don't worry thank you so much sir uh, thank you for taking our time and we are glad we have you here uh, you can share my number with everyone uh, so they can uh, contact and get help from me every time yeah sure i'm thank available you. if you are need quick yeah and sure, thank, you. thank you and thank you so much and thank you know you are calling team it's a great help to the people so much. uh yeah. we would short, uh, very shortly upla- upload this uh, recording on uh, youtube and if anyone has any uh, doubts or queries you can just comment it down below and sir would be very happy to answer them thank you so much sir yeah. once again okay bye have a good day bye have a good day.